Five Australians die every single day from skin cancer, but the survival rate is relatively high with early diagnosis. Now there's an app for that. Australia has one of the highest rates of melanoma. In fact, melanoma is often referred to as our national cancer. The good news is, if detected early, simple treatment can result in a cure. And with summer just around the corner, keeping your skin safe just got a whole lot easier. And this slots straight over your smartphone camera, and then you apply a liquid on the skin, also with the ability to request more photos if they require them. Tap to focus. And there you go. And that image is ready to be sent off to a doctor. It's ready to be sent off. It's so as easy as Slip Slop app. Images of a small mole on my arm have just been sent to a registered doctor for analysis. And within 24 to 72 hours, I'll know if that mole is dangerous or not. While melanoma constitutes only 2% of skin cancer diagnosis, it accounts for up to 75% of skin cancer deaths, and it is by far the most deadly form of skin cancer. It's called First Check, and it claims to be an easy way for anyone, anywhere, to have their skin checked. All you have to do is take a selfie. How accurate is this? The accuracy is great. It's also a registered medical device and it has the backing of all the skin cancer doctors on, who are reporting on these lesions. For $29.95, you could save your life with the first check phone lens, which can be added on to any Apple or Android smartphone. The attachment enables you to capture highly magnified images of moles for melanoma detection. For an additional $19.95, those images are sent to one of the company's doctors. The app is free to download. Hayden Laird is founder and CEO of First Check, which is registered with the TGA. First Check started when my, um, my grandfather got diagnosed with melanoma and we as a family recognised that we were at high risk and looked at ways for getting checked and came across this ability to diagnose skin cancer through photos and just thought how much of an impact this could make if it was made widely accessible. I was pregnant with my second child and I noticed a, kind of a spot on my left calf. It kind of looked like a bruise, so I didn't really take much notice of it. And then about a year later, I noticed that it had grown quite uh, significantly and thought I'd better go and check it out. Mum of two, Sarah Poulin, is a melanoma survivor. She underwent an operation to remove the melanoma, which included a skin flap, 30 staples to her leg and countless stitches. She was unable to walk for more than a month. I don't think that it can ever happen to you because I think, you know, especially in this country, it could. According to the Cancer Council, more than 13,000 Aussies are diagnosed with melanoma every year. Anyone can develop melanoma, but the risk is higher in people who have unprotected exposure to the sun, pale, fair or freckly skin, and light coloured eyes and hair, lots of moles, a strong family history of melanoma, and a previous melanoma or other type of skin cancer. So I would encourage all Australians to regularly check their skin at home um, on a frequent basis and this involves surveying all skin surfaces from top to toe uh, with the assistance of a partner or a family member to look at the hard to see places, typically the scalp, the back of the neck and specifically change in size, shape or colour or elevation or new symptoms associated with the lesion in the way of itch or bleeding. How long has that been there for? Dr Anika Smith is a dermatologist at the Melanoma Institute Australia. And if there's anything new or changing or any concerns whatsoever uh, that you seek prompt review by your local healthcare practitioner. Make sure that you know what's, what's what on your body. The Melanoma Institute recommends a professional skin check once a year as well as regular self-checking. And again, always see your doctor if anything looks suspicious.